my background is looking very barren today. I'm just, it's because, okay, it's because I pinned up all of the pothos plant vines because I'm getting a cat today and I don't want him to eat it and die. Decor. We talk a lot about Tumblr on this channel because I find Tumblr history fascinating. I find Tumblr fascinating to this day. Um, try to keep you updated on all the wackiest <laughs> shenanigans that I come across on there. But I often find that I'm struggling to explain Tumblr history or Tumblr memes or iconic posts, especially with the Tramp Stamps video. There were so many like Tumblr specific memes and copy pastas and John Green Cock monologue that I feel like I had to like backtrack and explain what everything was. And that made me realize that I've never really sat down and gone through some of the most iconic Tumblr posts of all time, just for your your knowledge, your, your knowing. This is by no means all of them. This is not even close to all of them. This is just, I think about 20 of the most iconic posts that I could think of on my own. Uh, that I could find from scanning heritage posts and that you guys could suggest to me. Hi. Hi, would you like to say hi? But first, I need to tell you about this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. With Skillshare, you can explore all kinds of new possible creative interests that you can get into, as well as foster existing hobbies and interests that you feel like you don't always have time for. I discovered this Skillshare course called Productivity for Creatives. It's taught by Thomas Frank, who seems to be quite the expert on all things productivity. I think no matter what kind of creative person, no matter what kind of artist you are, there's so many good tips in this course. I know I personally had to completely rethink the way that I thought about creating things around last year when the pandemic hit and I finished university. All of my goals and deadlines were now self-imposed, so creativity challenges and productivity classes like those available on Skillshare can be super super helpful with learning how to structure your time and set achievable goals. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or meet other creative people, Skillshare is a great place to keep you learning and creating. The first 1,000 people to click my link in the description below will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership, and after that it's only $10 a month for all of these amazing courses over on Skillshare. And now back to your regularly scheduled content. I am going to read all of these to you in their entirety and then I'm going to give you my vibe check in the form of a tier list. That's the plan, that's the plan. A few of these, three of them actually, I had voice acted by the lovely and talented Charlie Marlowe. All of their links will be in the description down below so you can go check them out if you enjoy. So some, some of these posts, some, some of these posts that were just particularly dramatic in a way that I did not think that I could do justice to. Uh, I decided to reach out to someone I know who is actually a voice actor to do them for me. So if I get to a post and suddenly it cuts to a voice that is not me and is doing a much better job than I possibly ever could, that's why. Literally the first post that came to mind when I thought of iconic Tumblr posts was do you love the color of the sky? I'm looking at it on desktop right now, but personally I think it hits the best on mobile because uh, this Po this it takes up your entire screen on mobile. Do you love the color of the sky? And it's white and you keep scrolling and then it's like, oh wow, the color of the sky. I sure do love the color of the sky. Sure is blue, sure is, it keeps going. Oh, there's some clouds. Oh, oh, the colors of the sky. Oh, the sun is setting. Oh, it's a sunset. Oh, that's beautiful. And now it's nighttime. Oh, look at the, sc the stars. Look at the stars. I sure do love the color of the sky. And then the sun starts rising. Would you look at that? It keeps going. And then at the bottom it says, which one? Because there's so many colors of the sky. Oh, it's so beautiful. At this point, if I come across this post, I just scroll as fast as possible. I did think it was really cool the first time I encountered it. But like after the millionth time, after I've been on Tumblr since I was like 13, I will block you for reblogging this. I do not, I do not love the color of the sky anymore. Another vintage one is uh, Tumblr University. So, <laughs> Where everyone is as crazy as you are. Courses offered bachelor in graphics, major in reblogging, bachelor in graphics, major in liking, major in following, major in fuck yes. Be a Tumblr student now. And then there's a Tumblr bus. There's like Tumblr fangirl sweaters. All I remember thinking when I first saw this um, when I was a teenager was that this looks uncomfortably similar to uh, my actual high school uniform at the time. So I don't think I was vibing with it. I was not vibing with Tumblr University at the time because I was like, this is already my life except sadder. More super fun uniform designs. Um, dorms, the Who Sherlock dorms. Uh, the Potter Narnia, Lord of the Rings dorms, the pirate slash history dorms, Disney slash Disney princess dorms. You can put more posters up, etc. I love how they have to like clear that up. <laughs> this is like sad Disney World hotel room. They're like, don't worry, you can, you can put up your Benedict Cumberbatch posters or whatever. 
Oh, that's atrocious. Okay, direction or dorms, but put more Ireland flags and more pictures of the boys. Oh good, glad we cleared that up. I don't think I would go to Tumblr University if I couldn't put up my one, more One Direction posters. This looks so cursed, Tumblr University, where everyone is happy. Oh my God, that's like right out of a dystopian movie. <laughs> like that's terrifying. Date of origin, 2nd of April, 2013. Thank you, Heritage Post. No, Tumblr University is uh, you going to super hell. Another one that I think is pretty iconic. I mean, everything about the whole rabies, situation. I made a video on it years ago. Um, if you want to go check out the rabies thing, but this was I think the post that like really got a lot of attention for the blog, so I chose this post to represent the whole rabies thing. This is going to be an extremely unpopular opinion, so bear with me, but I don't think children should be vaccinated unless they really absolutely want to be, and if they grow up into adults who still don't want to be vaccinated, then so be it. Kids are too young to fully grasp what vaccination does to you, and I don't mean in the they'll make you autistic and die way. I mean they don't understand what they're setting themselves up for in the future. Shots are pretty traumatic for children too, but that's for another day. If a child is too young to consent to sex or medical transition if they're trans, they're definitely too young to consent to a vaccine. I haven't had any contact with my family for quite some time, so I have a hard time knowing my medical history, especially with my lack of health insurance and a move to a different country. Because of that, I live with constant fear that I might be vaccinated against rabies. My family was extremely poor and had spotty health insurance, but it's hard to say, but it's fucking heartbreaking to know that I might never be fully rabid because my parents might have vaccinated me as a child when I was too young to know, too young to have any say in it. How many other kids are there just like me? How many adults have grown up miserable because they've been vaccinated against their genetic disposition for a certain disease? It's practically eugenics and it makes me fucking sick to my stomach. There are babies right now being vaxxed because that is healthy for them and their parents have no idea how much grief they're causing right now. So yeah, maybe stop vaxxing your kids. So yeah, what naturally really caught people's attention about this post was um you you bought rabies sir are you are you you dream of being fully rabid this did turn out to be a hoax um if you do go back and watch my original video about it i didn't mention that because it hadn't come out yet but it did turn out to be a satire blog so that is very much for the best so rabies pride this photo representing it as the rabies pride flag by the way rabies pride is up there for me i do think it's it's pretty funny tumblr code we're going way back in time again rabies pride was like 2018 or 2019 we're going way back again okay if i ever see any of you in public the code is i like your shoelaces that way we know we're from tumblr without revealing anything i'm just going to say this to strangers until i find a tumblr person must keep reblog rebloggering i'm going to be so suspicious if anyone tells me this now remember the answer is i stole them from the president. Always reblog Tumblr identification. This is an absolute Tumblr relic. I feel like an archeologist right now. This is incredible that this is on my dash. Date of origin, 2nd of July, 2012. Thank you, Heritage Post. I got an ask actually after the um, the Converse pants video that was like, wait, you were upset that nobody commented on your Converse pants? Like, what were they supposed to say? I like your shoelaces? Yes. Those shoelaces were extremely impressive and worthy of compliment. Tumblr code gets a neutral no exhale sound from me. Uh, the next one on my list is Opa Homeless Style. So Opa Homo Style is a post that I know that I have read out recently in a video as well. It comes from the long tradition of Tumblr fake stories. There was a, there was an era of Tumblr where people would make up fake stories like this. The down with cis bus is another one we'll get to later in this video, but people would just make up obviously fake stories about things that totally actually really happened to them and post them on Tumblr. I had a good day of tips waitressing for once, so I gave a homeless man $20 on the walk home. There must be a mistake! No mistake, I can afford to cut back a little. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Suddenly a shrieky little voice rang out. A pasty dude wearing a trench coat and a fedora barreled toward me. The fuck are you doing?! He yanked the $20 bill from the homeless man's grip, slicing his fingers on the paper. He stuffed the bloody bill in my face. No, no, you worked for this money while he sat on his ass and jerked off. You keep it. He threw the money in my face. What the fuck is your problem, asshole? Listen to me, you fucking useless female. I'm from New York City. Where the homeless have the decency to try and work for money. Whether it's shining your shoes, cleaning your windshield, or just doing a little dance on the street corner. I once saw a man with one leg up in a circle for hours to make six dollars in change. That's the difference between a classy homeless person and a bum! Well, this is my money. I earned it. I'll use it any way I like. How do you get your money if you're so important? I don't need a job because my mom gives me money.
a crowd had formed. Everyone was glaring at this scumbag, and a few were even cheering me on. You wanna dance, you little prick? Everyone turned to see the homeless man rising to his feet. To our amazement, he began to perform a pitch-perfect Korean-style dance. Oppa homeless style! The crowd erupted. We all began to join in the dance, save for Dipshit, who turned bright purple. Up, up, up a homeless style! I threw my $20 bill at the homeless man's feet. Everyone else followed suit, tossing money at him. A woman in a suit gave him her gold watch. Dipshit took off running while the rest of us danced into the night. I don't know what it was that just really inspired the website to do, to do this for years on end. Maybe this could be another video topic, just the phenomenon of Tumblr fake stories. But Opa Homeless Style itself as a post. At, how, how are the vibes? How are the vibes? At first, I would have given it a neutral nose exhale, but the more I read it, the more I come across it, which I have a lot lately for some reason. I know Heritage Post was investigating it for a while, trying to find the original post rather than just screenshots of it. So I think that like restored some interest in it. I've been seeing it a lot lately, but the more that I come across it, the more that it grows on me. And I think Opa Homo style is pretty effervescent these days. Markiplier and the LA gangs. This is an important message that needs to get out to Markiplier. There is a gang war in LA. The first gang to get to 100 kills gets to take over that part of the city. You need to be careful, Mark. You could be at high risk because of your high status. Please be safe, everyone in or around LA, and please reblog this to get it to the YouTubers in LA. I just worry about their safety. Markiplier, stay safe. Please stay safe, Marky Moo. We are all so concerned for you and the other YouTubers. Someone tag all of the game grumps. Los Angeles gangs, Markiplier. This post is... It, it sure tickles me. I like imagining where this 12-year-old fan, <laughs> this obvious 12-year-old <laughs> fan who was so concerned about Markiplier being murdered by LA gangs, I love to imagine where they might be today and if, if they even know, if they even know what they've done. In a similar vein of um, young people making choices, Miku Binder Thomas Jefferson, although this one is a lot more recent than Markiplier and the LA Gangs. I think last year or 2019 when this happened people would just not stop, people people would just not stop sending me this and asking me to talk about this. People were just insane about this. There's obviously a lot to unpack here, uh, the role of Tumblr fandom culture and Hamilton in <laughs> in a vegetable leading to a historical slave-owning white guy being drawn as this by fandom kids this is just peak internet peak tumblr fandom in a lot in a lot of ways so we have thomas jefferson he him art education major five foot eleven twenty six years old he has he's wearing a hatsune miku binder and a shirt that says met god she's black born and raised in virginia furry comma taken japanese lines <laughs> those things are very related gotta be on the same line only a comma dividing them obsessed with anime. Frequents Barnes and Noble and Starbucks, so naturally runs into Alexander and his ex Angelica a lot. Frequent John's former drug dealer used to be addicted to cocaine, hates to recall his past. <laughs> Tattoo artist pretends to like jazz and classical, but is really into K and J pop trash. Flamboyant, loudmouthed, and bad at love. <laughs> is that what that says? Yeah, you're going to super hell. The peak of Tumblr fandom culture is long past. However, all of us who have ever been in close proximity to it or participated in it when we were younger, I think, take, took a look at this post and then took a look at ourselves and went, yeah. Next post, the down with cis bus. Here's the thing that happened to one of my friends. I was there. Basically, we were walking down the sidewalk talking about something meaningless. I think it had to do with a movie. Then this bus screeches up, stops next to us, and a bunch of people with down with cis shirts climbed out and started beating him up. I was punched and kicked a bit too, but I managed to avoid brutalization by going for their faces. After figuring out what happened, I started attacking them back, getting them off of him. He was quite injured, but I called 911 and he made a full recovery in the hospital. I was fine with only a cut on my arm that they patched up. I love the down with cis bus and enduring down with cis bus memes and this meme that i've chosen to represent it does in fact say what if we kissed on the down with cis bus the down with cis bus can beat me up any day next post the three weed smoking girlfriends post or jory's three weed smoking girlfriends i gave you a taste of this post recently in the tramp stamps video but i would like to introduce you now to uh the entirety of the weed smoking girlfriends post so buckle up my three girlfriends and yes they smoke weed. Uh, do they smoke weed? Yes, actually. You mean she isn't just smoking a cigarette? 
But a weed cigarette? It's called a bunt, not weed cigarette. And yes, it is a weed bunt. They all smoke weed bunts before we kiss. They are my girlfriends. They don't look like they smoke weed. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. I'm so angry. You are so lucky my three weed smorking girlfriends are rubbing my shoulders to calm me down. I'm so mad. Your weed smoking girlfriend has a Hello Kitty tattoo on her belly. The one in the middle. I printed out a photo of your avatar and taped it to my punching bag that I punch and I mutter your URL with every strong punch. I punch you, twerp. Don't ever talk about Blaze or the Wicked Tat Tattoo. I drew on her ever again. Don't want to see you standing outside my home at 3 a.m. holding your weird dripping brown bags ever again, okay? Leave us alone! This is the final fucking warning! Well, that escalated quickly. When was that? <sighs> Come again? Blaze grabs my shoulder. Come on, Jory, they aren't worth it, please. I jerk my shoulder, shaking her hand off. No! No! Starts to just pummel you with my big fucking fist. With each blow, I let out a furious yell. The blows become quicker and harder and the yells get louder. I'm yelling so loud and now I'm crying. Breaking point! The week was hard and I can't take this anymore. I'm opening sobbing at this point while you blood gurgle. All of my three girlfriends struggle to pull me off and they finally succeed and lead me away from the goo pile that is now your body. <laughs> oh my god, who even is this dude? Someone needs some anger management classes. Love how he keeps reminding us that I have three girlfriends! They all kiss me! And they all smoke weed! Let's not forget Blaze and her wicked tat. Or that he doesn't want to see you standing outside his home at 3 a.m. holding your weird tripping brown bags ever again and that this is the final fucking warning. The goo pile that is now your body. I'm dying over here, Jesus. Please, Jory, uh, uh, come challenge me to a bout of internet witticisms. I promise it'll be fun. Shoots you dead. <laughs> Idiot. Leaves with my three weed smorking girlfriends to go hold hands and kiss. This dude playing, oh my god. Come again? The bar falls silent. No one dares to make a sound. As so you've just said a very poor choice of words at a very dangerous time. I remain slumped over the bar, not looking back to you. One hand limply holding an almost empty bottle. The other hand cradling my head. I repeat the question, this time louder. Come... Again? You can hear me slur my words. The, the sentence sounds like a real struggle for me to get out. I'm clearly intoxicated. A bead of sweat rolls down your face as you realize you might have just fucked up in a very major way. Everyone else in the bar is pretending to not notice what is going on. The bartender idly washes a mug with a cloth. His eyes are closed and he's muttering something to himself. A handful of people hurriedly leave. One person looks back at you. A look of sorrow on their face. Looks back at you. A look of sorrow on their face. They almost say something, but shake their head and cast their eyes down to the floor and leave. But not you. You stand. Petrified. A quick look at me reveals I'm still at the bar. You look to the exit. There's still time. But there's not. There's not. There's not. Your fate was sealed the moment you opened your mouth. Motherfu- What did you say? My hair is unkempt. I haven't shaved in what looks like months. There are dark, heavy bags under my eyes. My shirt is stained and has holes in it. And I'm missing a shoe. But the main thing you notice is the gun tucked into my jeans. And my massive muscle arms that look like they were made for punching. You know that song about the boots that were made for walking? Yeah, it's like that. Only instead of boots, it's muscles. And instead of walking, it's punching. 
I drunkenly sway over to you. You think of your family. Will they mourn you? Will they try and forget this blotch of stupidity? <laughs> that their child insulted the jury publicly? Ever happened to their family? Your thoughts are cut short as now I stand face to face with you. I grab your face and pull you even closer. Plan? There was nothing playing. No playing, you fuck. No playing. It was real. The realest thing I've ever felt. Love. I loved them. Play. Chet, chet. Funk. I loved all three of them. <laughs> but they... My face is wet with tears and I'm blinking constantly in vain to hold them back. They left me. Left. Almost instantly the sadness leaves my face and is replaced with pure anger. Plan! Plan! My hand leaves your face and starts to head to what you think is the gun. You close your eyes and see God looking at you, shrugging. You brought this upon yourself, dude. He says as he waves his hands at you dismissively. But instead of the gun, my hand grabs yours. Your eyes jolt open and the anger is gone from my face. There is only sadness. Left me. I fall to the floor and sob. Wow, well, grow up. You say before you leave the bar, but are hit almost immediately from a car and killed upon impact. The Weed Smoking Girlfriend's post is a literal work of art. Nobody knows who this man is. Why? Nobody, nobody knows. He just released this into the world. We as a Tumblr have never let it die. The Weed Smoking Girlfriends are iconic. Five ever. Alexandra's Genesis. This one I remember reading about and totally believing when I was a kid. When I saw this come up on Heritage Post, it just unlocked something. You know when you see something that is just you totally forgot about for like seven years of your life and then you see it again and you're just like transported? That was me when I saw this fucking purple eye. Alexandra's genesis, aka violet eyes, a genetic mutation. When someone is born with Alexandra's genesis, their eyes are blue or gray at birth. After six months, the eyes begin to change from their original color to purple, and this process lasts six months. During puberty, the color deepens to dark purple, a deep purple, a royal purple, or a violet blue color and remains that way. It does not affect the person's eyesight. Those who have this mutation will never grow any facial, body, pubic, or anal hair, not including hair on their head, on their ears, noses, eyebrows, and eyelashes. Women also do not menstruate, but are fertile. <laughs> Sounds very believable. No shaving, no periods, and I get purple eyes. Why the fuck wasn't I born with this? Why can't I have this? Date of origin, 2013. I remember believing that this one was real. If I saw this on my dash today, I would give it a neutral nose exhale. I, th I think there's some untapped meme potential here with Alexandra's Genesis. I think we are sleeping on it just a little bit. I would like to see more memes about it. Sixpence Heels. Now, Sixpence was a slightly infamous Tumblr user a while ago. Well, quite infamous, actually. I have always just fucking cackled when I see this post because it's so just, okay. Uh, introducing Sixpence Heels. So I noticed how unhappiness can really plague us. <laughs> Did you fucking, did you now, sixpence? Sometimes life throws so many curveballs at us. It prevents us from being happy and free-spirited. I, I really want to reach out and help people break free of certain negative patterns in their lives. So I've created Sixpence Heels. I am an extremely intuitive and empathetic individual. I will never judge or disclose any of your problems to anyone. I will help you transcend confusion and self-limiting beliefs so that you can be the best version of yourself. Here's how it works. Shoot me an email at sixpence at gmail.com saying you would like to participate in the Sixpence Heels program. Please include Sixpence Heels in the title. I will send you a short survey that you can fill out that will let me know more about you. It can help me to pick up patterns. 
that may not be so clear to you. You will type up all of your major slash minor doubts, anything at all that you want clarity on in the present time. I will take time to write out an individualized and personal report that will really help and guide you. I will include resources if you need. I will also keep in touch with you and follow up with you. I will do my best to help you with the cards that you have been dealt. The pricing is $30 per person. I will only be taking 10 to 15 people a month because I will really be spending a lot of time on each person's report. It's a first come first serve basis. This is not in any way a substitution for mental health or medical treatment and yet <laughs> this is literally someone on the internet going give me thirty dollars and i'll give you therapy i'm not a professional i just am really like an empath or something i'll just you want some thirty dollar internet therapy yes heritage post literally tagged us i am an extremely intuitive and empathetic individual this is so funny she's an empath literally literally i mean you were going to super hell complimentary but not complimentary to sixpence just the the art of of this it just it just fucking tickles me you know infinite chocolate is it's basically this gif that is like if you cut chocolate a certain way whoa how to eat chocolate indefinitely gif version what i've been sitting here for 20 fucking minutes trying to figure out what the hell is going on here and i can't i just made this using paper and it still works and i'm crying because i don't even understand you broke logic i did it with paper too and no one in my family can explain it <laughs> yeah yeah, I don't really care. You can't get infinite chocolate. It's not even that funny. Leave it alone. This is okay. This is another thing that's just potentially a video topic. This is weird as hell. So, and I didn't really know that much about it until somebody suggested that I look at this post for this video. But let me just, this was the culmination of the Cole Sprouse social experiment. And I think like the most iconic post involved in it, which was his ending of the social experiment. He doesn't call it one here, I think. There was, there was later Twitter stuff. He was like, it was a social experiment. I just wanted to see how people were gonna like react to the implication that I was like watching them or studying them on Tumblr or something. So this is Cole Sprouse announcing that he's leaving Tumblr after a brief stint where he wrote pretentious posts and got very popular because he was a child actor. So my goal for this website was accomplished. I got all the information that I needed and now I'm deleting this account. Thanks to all who watched, read, listened. I hope that in some small way my words carried weight. The next time you see or hear from me, I will, most definitely, be a changed man. Before I go, I'll answer a question that people keep asking about my ring. My ring is the skull of a chameleon. The chameleon can see everything that happens around it, constantly aware of its environment. The small reptile changes color depending on the situation it enters. Its very special form of adaptation is one that I try to mimic every time I enter a space. I try to become aware of what I step into and change my color accordingly. The way that I move, feel, argue, all and all, and all the discourse of my life changes in order to succeed within that space. This adaptation, this environmental and social pressure will allow me to succeed, much like Darwin so brilliantly noted. You take a role and embrace it, but you know that you are never whole. And those who fall in love with you or otherwise fall for your performance, not you. For you is never constant. My life is locus, but there are many levels to deceit. And cheating is only frowned upon when you're caught. So goodbye and remember, the next time you see or hear from me, I will most definitely be a changed man. S welcome to his twisted mind, I guess. This post gets me in the same exact same way as Sixpence Heels, where it's like, I don't even, I can't even begin to classify what le kind of bullshit it is that you're on. It's like, if rabid loving was not a hoax, but when it's real and it's just like, it's just, it's just such a perfect, just such a perfect specimen, you know? I just, I feel like I'm in the zoo. Although actually, I think upon consideration, I'm going to put these down to, both of these, down to effervescent tier, actually, yes. Okay, we've got a few more posts to get through. Uh, first of all, then perish. It's these role-playing screenshots which were posted to Tumblr. Uh, hello, is anybody there? Cave slowly begins to fill with water. Hello, please, somebody help me. Hello. You can feel the surface of the water barely lapping at you. No, 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 no. Hello, hello, help me. God rest your soul. Hello, ma'am. Why are you doing this to me? Hello, help me, please. Indifferent Obama face. Mr. Obama, is that you? Hello, please help me. I seem to be in a little bit of trouble, Mr. Obama. Hello. Please, Mr. Obama, please save me. I don't want to die. Hello, Mr. Obama. Are you still there? Indifferent Obama face, but closer. Mr. Obama, please, I'm drowning. Hello, I'm scared. I'll do anything for you, Mr. Obama. Please help. Anything. Anything for you, Mr. Obama. Then perish. I wish that I could speak to whoever made this and tell them that they have altered my vocabulary forever. I say then perish. I use then perish all the time. I, I use those stupid Obama eyes as a reaction image all the time. The next post on the list is the that 
that hat post. The hat post. You know, it, again, if you yourself are a Tumblr veteran who has simply come to this video to see my ranking and disagree with it, and you are already familiar with all of these and the memes surrounding them, then you know the hat post. Also sometimes referred to as the men of Tumblr post, but it, it keeps going long after uh, that addition to the post. So anyway, without further ado. Are <laughs> fedoras really that bad? Nice guys finish last. <laughs> I really don't believe this mumbo jumbo. I mean, it's a goddamn hat, right? The white rose, it symbolizes the unique beauty of the women who wish not to be with a nice guy such as myself. I wonder if this works with other kinds of hat. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Men of Tumblr are my favorite kind of people. Wait, does that mean... Oh boy. Shave your arm hair. <laughs> Luckily, this nonsense doesn't work on girls. Observe. I'm not like Abigail. <laughs> it's gotten better! This post is immaculate. It can't be true. It can't possibly work on motorcycle helmets. I, I, I must test it. Nothing happening so far. Born to be wild! <laughs> Cash money. Holy shit, it works! What in the world? Oh, why not? This should be interesting. Here we go. We're all mad here in Underland. What the hell? Never again. Actually, one more time. <laughs> all right, I gotta try this. Can't be that bad. War is hell. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this just gets better and better. This is one of my favorite things to look at. Holy shit, this stuff is back. I wonder if it works for flower crowns. Here goes nothing. Do it today, or regret it tomorrow. What the? Did I just... What the fuck? Okay, clearly something's up. Hmm, I wonder. I'm sure nothing could possibly... Let's -a go! Holy shit! It got better! I have been searching so long for this post, oh my god. I wonder what happens when you wear eight of these at once. Holy oh my god! god! Oh, I'm not like speaking. most girls. Never not reblog. It's on my dash. Actually on my dash. Oh my god, there are so many new ones. Friggin' yes! Always reblog. The hat post is some really good wholesome stuff. I think I want to reserve the top tier for stuff that I have just very positive feelings about it and not anything that is just like, oh, I'm in the weird white boy zoo, you know? <laughs> the hat post is just, it's like the really like fun, wholesome side of old Tumblr, I think. Like old old Tumblr gets a bad rap, you know, it's the fake stories, the ridiculous fandom stuff, but there was a really fun and wholesome part of old Tumblr. And this, the, the hat post just really embodies that for me. Next post on the list is the severed toe post. I also have an entire video on the severed toe incident um, if you would like to check that out, but but before you do that, uh, if you haven't heard of this, here is a little teaser of the, the post that blew up and brought a lot of attention to the severed toe thing, or the severed toe necklace is what most people call it. Okay. A few days ago, I received a very special package in the mail. It contained this amputated human toe belonging to the lovely Royally Oily. Yes, Tumblr user Royally Oily mailed her toe to Tumblr user Kami Eyelids. Like, literally, this is a toe off of her foot. I will be changing the solution, putting it in a new pretty jar, and potentially making it into a wearable pendant. Taking on this project is so super meaningful to me, more so than any jewelry project I've taken on, including the engagement ring. I'm so appreciative of her trust in me, and I'm so excited to get working on this. And then Royally Oily reblogged it and commented back, literally brought tears to my eyes. I am so grateful and excited myself. Not only do I absolutely trust your artistic expertise at coming eyelids, but I also feel my body part, yes, an actual piece of me, could not be more capable hands. I know that you will respect and care for my little piggy. I appreciate this more than you'll ever know. And hey guys, just a quick question. What the fuck is going on over here? The effervescent tear is really getting quite thick. I do, I do love a lot of these posts. They are truly near and dear to my heart. Next post, this one is cheating a little bit because it includes, it's a post that includes screenshots of a lot of other posts. Anyway, this is all regarding Tumblr user pizza. This is a post that I know that I have encountered in the wild before regarding Tumblr user pizza. I remember their reign of terror well. Someone says Tumblr user pizza is both scary and entertaining. I mean, really? Why does the Tumblr user pizza always show up when you mention pizza? Not that I'm gonna tag this pizza so they can't find it. And then pizza says, I find everyone. Did somebody say camera zooms in on my face? Pizza? I am here. Apparently if you mention pizza, Tumblr user pizza will come. Who said that? All I want is pizza and high self-esteem. 
Hello, orders pizza. Am I ordering an actual pizza or am I ordering Tumblr user pizza? The world may never know. We will have to wait and see if I turn up at your house. So is Tumblr user pizza God or Beyonce? I'd like to confirm that I am both. <laughs> so I've seen a couple of posts where pizza is mentioned and Tumblr user pizza appears. OMG, me too. How weird is that? I'm not sure if I should be scared or impressed. I wish that we knew what happened to Tumblr user pizza. Tumblr, Tumblr user pizza gets at least a neutral nose exhale from me. Um, and finally, the final one I have on this list is John Greencock monologue. John Greencock monologue is probably the most famous post uh, from the era of post editing or reblog editing. If you've used Tumblr, you know you can reblog a post and add your own comment to it. Well, and I and I've tried to explain I've explained this to people before. It's it's relatively simple to explain, but I've explained this to people before and they're like, that's not true. That can't po how did the website function? But this is true. It used to be that you could edit like the previous parts of the post, like you could edit somebody else's post and it would show up under their URL as if they had written that and you could just change what people had written and reblog it and it would look like they'd written that. Um, so John Green's genuine and sentimental post about reaching 200,000 followers um, was of course changed to, as I near 200,000 followers, I would just like to say that cock is one of my favorite tastes, etc, etc, which I will not be inflicting upon you today, but you may Read it silently in your head if you would, if you so choose. I think it's funny in theory, but I'm not going to read it out loud or commission anyone else to read it out loud. If it were just to like show up on my dash with no self-aware context, I think I would block you for reblogging this. Just like considering like the post itself. So that's my iconic Tumblr posts tier list. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed these posts. Feel free to violently disagree with me in the comment section down below. Go and follow me on Tumblr. You can check out my merch in the description down below. We have these new girl girl sweaters, which are really cool. I used to wear mine like every single day until my girlfriend started stealing it like every single day <laughs> because it's so comfortable. I also have a button store on Shopify. My roommate and I make all of the buttons by hand and ship them all by hand. They are made with love and my passion for graphic design. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, my friends. Um, and I will see you in another video very soon.